We know a lot of US 650 owners out there are looking for the perfect exhaust modification to get just a little bit more volume. The Resonator Delete is it. You have a choice between an X-pipe or an H-pipe. Today, we're gonna to be showing you installation, sound clips, and dyno poles of both the X and the H-pipe on this 2024 GT.
Resonator Elites are a super popular modification, not only for the S550 Mustang, as we've seen with these two units, but also S650 Mustang as well. There's plenty of people out there already running these pipes and you have the X pipe and the H pipe. It's the age old debate, which one do you like better? Which one sounds better and which one makes more power? So first off, we needed to do the baseline. So we ran our 2024 GT A10 car on the dyno. A quick thing to note about all the dyno pulls in this video, the car had 93 octane in the tank, roughly 1400 miles on the odometer, and all pulls were made in fifth gear. Another thing to keep in mind is that our dyno does read a little bit lower than some of the other dynos out there, but what we're really zeroing in on in this video is the differences between stock versus X and H. So after the stock runs, we let the car cool down and installed the X pipe on this 24 GT. It's a cut and clamp installation, super easy and 304 stainless steel, so you know it will last the test of time. Got that X pipe up into place, some sound clips, and the dyno pull. And the 2024 GT A10 with the X-Pipe Resonator Elite installed from Steeda yielded 391 horsepower and 335 pound-feet of torque. From there, the cut and clamp locations on the factory exhaust are the exact same between the X-Pipe and the H-Pipe, so it was a super easy swap, threw the H-Pipe on, and then ran it again on the dyno. And with the Resonator Delete H-Pipe installed on the 24 GT, we saw 393 horsepower and 338 pound-feet of torque. Now that we have the numbers, let's talk about it. One thing we do wanna compare is that we did the same exact test on a 2021 GT with just over a thousand miles in the odometer as well. If you haven't seen that video, be sure to go back in our channel and check it out because it's very interesting to see the results from then on the S550 versus now on the S650. From our experience, not only with the S550 Mustang, but even past Mustangs as well, the X-Pipe is gonna give you a slightly higher pitched raspy exhaust note, more power, horsepower up top, at the higher part of the rev range, and a little bit less torque down low. The H-Pipe is the complete opposite. You lose a little bit of power and flow up top, but you gain a couple more pounds of torque at the bottom. For our resonator delete testing on the S650 Mustang, I gotta say, the results are a little different than what we expected. For our stock runs, the X-Pipe and the H-Pipe, we pretty much did three or four runs to validate the numbers that we were seeing after proper cooldown period and things like that. But again, we wanted to make sure cylinder head temp, oil temp, everything was relatively close to each other across the board for all three combinations. And the fact of the matter is, on the S650, it's all within the noise. Stock versus X versus H, whether it's something to do with the tune or calibration changes from Ford, the exhaust itself, X pipe versus H pipe versus stock, all yield within three horsepower of each other. You lost a couple foot pounds of torque with the X pipe, which is relatively normal. The H pipe made more power than the X pipe did, but again, we're only talking within three horsepower, which is still less than 1% of a change in terms of peak numbers. Now this particular car that we tested in the video is an active exhaust car. So obviously we can't be speaking for the dual tip cars that don't have active from the factory, 2024 Mustangs, but for the 24s with active exhaust, if you listen bone stock on an S550, 2018 plus with active exhaust, and a 24 plus with active exhaust, It's quite a bit louder. You can tell they definitely made some changes with the exhaust system, whether that's in the muffler or the resonator, but the point is it may have some additional flow. And the fact that Ford is claiming you get an additional six horsepower if you opt for the active exhaust option, bumping those GTs to 486 flywheel horsepower. So what does all this mean? The horsepower and torque numbers for stock versus X versus H are all within the noise. With the S550's power had a little bit more impact in your decision because the X-Pipe definitely made more horsepower, another seven to 10, whereas the H-Pipe only made another three or four horsepower, but a little bit more torque. Now more than ever, you have the option to pick the best resonator delete that fits your taste. 
If you like the deep throaty muscle car sound, definitely go with the H-Pipe. If you like the higher pitch, more screaming high RPM sound, especially compliments the Coyote, then the X-Pipe is the way to go. Either or, pick the pipe that sounds the best to you. Comment below and let us know which one you like more, the X-Pipe or the H-Pipe on the S650 Mustang. If there's any other parts you wanna see us test on the dyno, be sure to let us know about those as well. Shopstita.com for all of your 2024 Mustang performance part needs. Hit that like, subscribe, the notification bell, and don't forget the most important thing, speed matters.